Here we are back in Chattanooga, man. I'm excited to see this car. What are your plans for the Franklins? I need to find a good home for them. There's one from 1919. Six would do it. Six would do it really easy. OK, well, then let's do it. Heck, I'm excited to see Corky. Corky's been a friend of mine for 25 years, and Coker Tire Company has been around since the late 1950s. If anybody can get that going, it's him. Oh, yeah. It's perfect for it. The guy's passionate. He's a true enthusiast. I mean, he loves cars like a fat kid loves cake. What? This is a nice original car. Yeah, that's why it's we bought it. It's a 1919 Series 9. What do you think of the interior? What do you think of the original paint? Hey, it's all amazing. So have you heard it run? <laughs> Tires aren't Yeah, I've heard it run. Oh, it um, does run. Keith, will it start? Yes, sir. Show him it'll run. The motor wasn't stuck, huh? I can't believe that. Magic juice. You got that. That's corky magic juice right, right there. there. Yeah. <laughs> that's called, that's, that's called scary. Listen to that. Listen, Listen how fast it started. It sounds good. It does. It's I good. think, I think the motor is, is relatively low mileage. Pretty cool, corky. That original spark plugs and everything, huh? Everything. Wow. She goes. I need to know where you guys are at on this car. Well, we paid six thousand for it, seven hundred and fifty dollars, I think, to ship it down here. Yeah. So we're roughly just a little bit under seven grand into it. Say so seven grand, you put all new tires and wheels on it, fourteen, fifteen hundred bucks on okay, just tires. Okay, so where are we at? Where, that's eighty five hundred. Eighty five hundred. Yeah. You know, the linkage. We'll have to start going find linkage. I might have to build a gas tank because the gas tank is roach. It's gone. Okay. You're going to have what this car's worth in it. What do you think retail is on the car if it was running down the road? Ten to. 12. For the time period <laughs> it's from, and the paint that's on the car, Originality. and the original interior, I figured it was worth the high side of that, maybe. We always think it's on the high side, but real is real, yeah. and I've got somebody that will buy the car. For how much? Eight grand. Eight grand, so we're at seven now, we'd make a grand. He might go 8,500. I'd entertain 8,500 bucks. I mean, to be honest with you, it's like, this car is so straight, it's so solid, the interior is incredible, runs. it runs, there's no issues with the engine. See, that's what I was kind of banking on when I bought it, because now hearing it running, it runs like a sewing machine, man. $8,500. I mean, he's not charging us anything for what he's done so far. We'd have to ship it back to the store. That's gonna cost us more money. I mean, if we got a, if we got a guy right now that's solid, I mean, 15 in one hand or zero in the other hand. Just Tell the guy we'll take it. We'll take 85. OK. Well, he's going to be really happy. You know why? Because it's me, baby. <laughs> we should have known. We, at least we know your check's good. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm glad he got it. I mean, you know, he's got all the tools to make, like, you know, like he says. Those, those tires and stuff, you know? You yeah. never know once you start going oh, down yeah, the he's road. he's the tire guy. And he's got all the machinery and all the right, stuff. He's right, though, I agree. If we would have had him start digging into the brakes, start digging into everything on the car, then we would have been backwards on it. Yeah, we made a little money, you know? Yeah. But have you noticed that every time we go to Corky's and sell something to Corky, we barely squeak by. We barely squeak by. Hey, that's why he's in the business. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.